on stream right now. We're gonna have Snake versus Olimar, probably the most hype match up in Ultimate. Like, we've had this at a few majors, and both of these players, even though these are traditionally campy, quote-unquote lame characters, I think we're gonna get quite a show here. Oh my god, right there, 40% in the first five seconds. There's gonna be a lot of explosions and a lot of Pikmin going on, and both these characters' damage output is absolutely insane. Ooh, okay, that's an interesting interaction, is that um, grenades actually hit the Pikmin and like immediately kill them. So we're gonna have to uh, see Pink adapt to that. Maybe throw out some aerials instead. ICC has been catching everyone with that. As soon as you neutral get up, you're conditioned to shield, and he grabs you and the up smash still hits you. Fantastic job not picking a panic option there, not rolling into Pink who is waiting for an option. Pink is slowly racking the damage back up. Those Pikmin are uh, really good for just having chip damage and covers the ledge roll with the up smash. Fantastic stuff by ICC. Now, much like Olimar, uh, when you don't have the lead versus Snake, this is where it gets not fun to play against. You have to approach, you're gonna get hit by grenades, you're gonna get hit by C4, explosions, everything. Unless you carefully move your way around him. He does have a purple and a red, so getting a kill will be uh, pretty pretty close to ICC's future. He's just doing a great job with the C4s, with the grenades. Just keeping an explosion out at all times. You have a large uh, hurtbox out, or hitbox rather. Pikmin cannot survive. I don't think Pikmin would survive a nuclear holocaust. Blue up there, gonna seal it out for pink. Um, oddly enough, none of the other Pikmin, uh, they like never kill. You could be at 300% and like a red would back there you and it probably wouldn't kill. Alrighty. Ooh, double purple. This is not the Double purple and a red. That is literally damage output the character. Yeah, I'd actually like to see a little bit more- Ooh, fantastic up tilt, calling out the aerial attempt from pink. But I'd like to see a little bit more usage of red Pikmin, just because red Pikmin are immune to explosions. And that's pretty much what Snake is all about. Everything is a fire hitbox. Okay, back to the grenade game, just resetting neutral, telling uh, pink, you need to approach me. Like, I have the percent lead, I have the stop lead. And I'm gonna wait for you to make a mistake. And right there, just punishes with a dash attack. That's what you gotta do with Snake when you have the lead, is just wait, bait, punish. He's blowing himself up with the grenades quite a bit. Blue Rock Throw gonna do it? Yeah! Fantastic. That is such a strong kill throw. Especially on, even on a heavy character like Snake. Yeah, you can, you can hear it in the background that uh, they're pressing a lot of inputs, but they're both really just pressing B. That, that, that's pretty much it. They're pressing B a lot. But they're pressing B very skillfully. Like, oh my god, he has so many things to add. He's got C4 in the center of the stage, right in the center of the Pokeball. There it is! That same setup, ICC gets that every single time. But, and it's scary because up smash is a lingering hitbox. You don't want to spot dodge because it might catch that. You don't want to roll, it'll catch that. Snake's ledge trapping, some of the best in the game. To me, it's reminiscent of like Smash 4 Diddy, where like they literally just wait for you to pick an option and they cover it. All right, going into game two. I didn't see, oh, are they, they switch in stage? Let's see, what stage are we gonna go to? Back to PS2, maybe? Or what are we going on? Oh, are we are we switching controls? Oh, uh, was there was there an issue with Pink's controller? Oh, okay. So we do have confirmed uh, character change from Pink. I'm not sure who we're gonna see. I'm not sure if we're gonna let's see against Snake. Maybe we'll see Wario. Possibly? 
But uh, there's also a possibility we could see King K. Rule. We could see Pac-Man. King K. Rule. Well, this is a throwback to last season. I haven't seen um, King K. King K. Rule in quite a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what a heavy like King K. Rule can really do against Snake, but I guess that's what Pink's here to do. To show me what his crop can do against this. Uh, what is Snake? An army soldier? What is he? I have no clue. But uh, immediately right back on the ledge. Oh, he's a mercenary. Okay, Snake's a mercenary. I have not chosen to dodge the thing for that one. Um, maybe he wants to do his, use uh, Carol's super armor on the on pretty much all of his moves. Carol's got. Oh wow! Even with the forward tilt armor on the belly, uh, the explosion is still hitting the F tilt. I feel like Crown might be a little bit better cool in this matchup, have some projectiles to work with, but honestly, like, Pac-Man's projectiles would probably be better than, uh, better than Gabriel's. But, uh, unaware that C4 is right there. Oh my god, it gets grenade into C4. Damn, that was a sick conversion coming out from ICC. And Pink immediately responding with the up air. Fantastic job. That move is actually buffed in, uh, patch 3.0, not too recently. Oh, now I see it. Um, able to use the cannonball to actually stuff out some of the grenades. Oh, Jesus. So much damage. K roll is crazy. Oh, my God. He kills him. He gets him with the RP. Pink, you're sick. ICC, I guess he did not think that it would reach him because. If you don't know at home, is that Snake can actually drop out a C4, or drop out a Cypher, rather, whenever he wants to, but, uh, Pink going all the way up there with Crococopter. Down air! That's gonna do it, I think. Does he have C4? No! C4 was on stage right there in the center. He was not able to recover. Fantastic edge guard by Pink. Gotcha. But going into game three, uh, that was a really good showing from Inks King K rule. Terrifying. Both of these players, I think, are 1-1 one, one at the moment. So, basically at this point, if you already have one loss, then uh, you just want to you wanna keep trying to win your sets because um, everyone moves on to bracket. And you want to make sure your seed is as high as possible, so... You don't have to play the super top seeds round one. Yeah, so it's a 16 person. Um, so basically they split it. The pools, the top four in pool one and the top four in pool two uh, make top 16 winner side. And then the bottom four are top 16 loser side. And then we also bring into account game count and how many wins and losses you have to determine seeding. Yeah, exactly. So it's like at this point, um, I'm guaranteed top two seed. I think I have to play. I have to play Dane next to determine who makes it out first seed. But uh, back to this match, we have a game three situation between Pink and ICC. ICC switching to Ness. I played against this Ness in uh, in friendlies earlier, and it was it was moving. It was moving a little bit. Big Hit Fire is going to be extremely difficult to deal with as K. Roll. It is so hard to STI when you're a big body character. Yep, right there. Oh my god, so much damage. 82%. Back air? Hitting back the cannonball, but I'm um, not really getting anything out of that. Oh, super armor from the crown coming in. He's got the crown in hand. Bad position for K. Roll. Yeah, Ness's out of shield options are actually some of the best in this game. They're incredible. But King K rules recovery. You gotta remember, guys, it pokes through the bottom of the ledge. It's very difficult to challenge it unless you have an extreme disjoint. Fantastic air dodge to ledge. Ness having one of the best uh, directional air dodges in the game. No tech on that nair. I don't think anyone would have expected that. Good stuff to think. Even at a deficit, he was still able to bring himself back. PK Thunder. Oh, goes high. Fantastic mix up. ICC was not ready to cover that. Is he going to make it back? And that was an untackable PK Thunder. Super strong. At that high of a there's no way you're making it back. Ooh, good parry. But he was facing the wrong way, unfortunately. Ooh, he gets 
the crown before K. Rool can. Ooh, okay, gets to the ledge, avoiding that PK Thunder juggle. He keeps going for this roll down smash, and it doesn't hit once. Fantastic tech from Pink, not getting stage spiked by that PK fire. Ooh, can't say the same for the second time, though. Pink's got to pull something out of his hat, or out of his crown, rather, and try to make this comeback. It's going to be very difficult. All right, try to get a falling forward or a grab. That is true on certain characters if they don't have a fast enough option to get out. Okay, F2. Trying to... Wow! Directional air dodges all the way through the uh, cannonball from K. Roll. ICC is sick, dude. It is crazy. Down throw? Into up tilt. Okay, not able to get a stronger punish than that. Uh, they nerfed that a little bit at lower percent. They also nerfed that as well. Uh, K. Rool got the short end of the stick in patch notes. The, um, just for anyone that doesn't know, the neutral B used to last for quite a long time. Now it doesn't last nearly as long, but it is a command grab and it is a kill throw. Pink coming right back into this. This is extremely even. Game three, last hit. Or last stock, rather. Words are hard. Give me a break. Okay, try to go for a PK2. This is a scary position. You do not want to be Ness off stage. What are you doing? What was that? I, I don't know. You cannot let Pink get momentum, though. He can make this comeback. It's just a matter of time. Tech's in place, but gets covered by the cannonball. Oh, fantastic cross-up on the shield! Good stuff to ICC. There, out of shield. Not quite gonna do it yet. Ooh, expected another neutral get up. But uh, Pink not gonna fall for that! That cannonball would've killed him in the back end! Sealing it for Pink. Fantastic stuff, taking it over ICC in a last hit scenario.